So this is a pretty cool sheet here, formula and formatting. And if I run over to the answers, when I get done, my sheet should look like this. So let's go ahead and go through them. It says in row eight, calculate the totals for all three months. So in row eight, I want the totals for all three months. So I'm going to say equals sum, and the sum I want is right up here. So I'm going to put that in there, and then I can fill this over. It says in cell A8, enter the word totals and right align it. So in A8, I'm going to enter the word totals, and I'm going to go ahead and choose right align, and I'm done with that one. It says insert a blank row above nine. So if I click on nine, right click and insert, if you notice it gives me a blank row that's now nine. If I have a question on that, I'll go look at the results. In cell E3, enter the word totals. Here's E3. I'll put totals in there. Looks like we're probably going to total that row, that column. Here's that. Calculate the totals for each row, rows four through seven. So four equals the sum of this data right here. Boom. And I'll do that four through seven. There we go. Totals of the total, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. There we are. It says merge and center. A1 through E1, A1 through E1, merge and center, and apply the title style. So I'll come over to styles, find the title style. I'm done with that one. Again, make sure you're pausing this video and taking your time, making sure you're getting these outcomes and mastering. Looks like we're going to do B2 through E2, B2 through E2. We are also going to merge and center. We're going to apply the heading three style. There's the heading three style. Format the range B4 through E8. So I'm going to go B4 through E8. We're going to format that as the accounting number style. Well, here's numbers. Let's go up here. Do we have an accounting style? We do. Boom. Accounting style applied. In cell E10, so in cell E10, E10, it's saying to calculate the total number of patients seen during the three months. So we're going to say equals. Again, I'm going to type in these formulas. I'm not going to use that easy button, and I'll get the result. In cell A11, enter the words revenue per patient. Revenue per patient. There we go. That looks good. And widen if needed. Don't need to widen it in my case. Calculate the revenue per patient by dividing the totals for each month by the patients treated each month. So here's the total. Here's the patients. Let's make sure I do this right. This is revenue per patient equals by dividing the totals for each month. In that case, this one divided by the patients treated that month. There's that number. So it's B8 divided by B10. Notice I'm not using the static numbers, right? For each month, I can just fill this over. There I get the answers. So I'll highlight that one and fill it in. It says to cell D11, apply the good cell style. All right, to cell C11, apply the bad, C11, apply the bad, finish those. To the other two cells in the row, apply the neutral, the other two cells. Wow, oh, I wonder what I'm missing here. Ah, it does want the total here, and it does want that, so looks like I missed that. There's that. I'll just bring this over here. Looks like I need to calculate it, which means I need the grand total. Gee, I better use a little critical thinking here. I'm going to equal sum. I know I can do the column because I'm 
summing the other columns. So I want to sum that way. There we go. Come down here. We'll do equals this amount divided by this. 167.05. Let me go check. 167.05. Wow. I am looking really good. I wanted the neutral style to these two cells. Here's what that looks like. Here's what that looks like. Did I miss applying the total styles someplace? Let me go back and look because it was definitely in there. I did. Looks like I missed one right there. Format cells A8 to the total style. Total cell style. There it is. That's what that looks like. That's what that looks like. My finished product looks wonderful and I am done. Take care.